For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we are chatting all about January favorites. Now, I recently did a video about like my best purchases or favorite purchases, discoveries, everything from 2021, and I will say, I do repeat one thing, and that's because I got it at the end of last year and felt like I was sort of cheating it, including in that video, but I wanted to mention it in this video too because it has been so well loved, so it's just reinforcement that it should have been included in that video. So I'll just go ahead and start with that one since I'm already teasing it. And it is our pour over coffee system. Now this specifically is just one piece of the puzzle. So we have this dripper and I'm turning it this way because this is from Blue Bottle. Brian ended up getting me this pour over discovery set for Christmas and it came with the actual dripper that you put the coffee filter and the ground coffee into. And then it came with a clear carafe of sorts. Like it's what the coffee actually drips down into and then you pour it into your coffee cup. And it also came with a bag of coffee and a live virtual class. Because the thing with pour over coffee is that it's not as straightforward as just scooping coffee and putting it into a coffee maker. You are actually doing the brewing. So you have a, a gooseneck kettle with hot water in it and you're pouring the water in a certain way over the grounds of the coffee and letting it steep and then doing it again several times. So there is a method to the madness. And at first I was nervous to kind of step away from the coffee maker just because I like convenience and efficiency and getting things done, you know, multiple things at once. But this practice has done a lot more for me than just give me like a great cup of coffee and it's made me slow down. And that is something that I do not do well. Like sometimes when I'm brewing the coffee, you have to wait like 30 seconds in between your pours. I will do anything or like I'll pick up clutter that's on the kitchen counter or I'll like fold a towel that's sitting there bothering me. But most of the time I try to make myself just stop and look out the window and do nothing for the like minute and a half that it takes for this coffee to brew. And it's been so nice. It feels like a ritual. It just again, makes me slow down. And for a busybody, that's a tall order. But like I mentioned, you also get a really great cup of coffee out of it. It's a lot bolder. So if you've been interested in it, like you're a big coffee lover and you're kind of nervous because it is kind of an investment to get all the pieces, I can assure you that it's definitely worth it. And so the pieces that we have, we have the Fellow Electric Kettle, which is fantastic. I talk a lot more about that kettle in that 2021 favorites video. We have a food scale because it's all based on weight of both the coffee and the water. And then and everything that came in the kit. The virtual class was huge. It really teaches you how to do it like the blue bottle way, I guess. That was very, very helpful. At the end of the day, if you pour hot water on top of coffee beans, you will eventually make coffee, so don't freak out. Don't think the world is gonna end if you don't do it perfectly. I really can't say enough good. All right, we're just gonna kind of bounce around because I really wanna talk about this kit next, and it's the skincare kit from Youth to the People. It's called The Minimalist, and I love the concept of this for a million different reasons. So they call this The Minimalist Set because it's supposed to be a really pared down skincare routine. So keeping it simple. You've got a cleanser, you have a vitamin C slash caffeine kind of serum that you use during the day, and then you have the Superfood Air Whipped Moisture Cream, AKA a moisturizer that can be used day or night. I have zero negative things to say about any of these products. Y'all know I have been a Paula's Choice Cleanser Loyalist since I was 12 and I am almost 30 for perspective. So that is a really long time that I've loved that cleanser, but I was really challenging myself to try new brands this year, specifically new brands that are doing like really good things for people and the planet. So seeking out cleaner beauty brands and that's what led me to Youth to the People. All of their packaging is 100% recyclable. They only use clean ingredients. Now one thing is that they were just acquired by L'Oreal like at the end of last year-ish. I don't love to see that because TBD on what the future is but maybe L'Oreal as a whole is trying to take tips from Youth to the People and clean up their lines too. We'll see. So the box itself is the instruction book. It kind of outlines everything for you. So the first one is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. I love the pump design and the product itself is so effective. I think it does a fantastic job of actually removing your makeup, which is huge. That is the key and why I've loved the Paula's Choice one for so long, and I still stand by that one. It is amazing. But the ingredients in this one are a little bit cleaner. It does foam up. It actually has a frothy kind of feel to it on your face, 
without being overly frothy, like the Origins Frothy Face Wash. I do not like that stuff because it's crazy hard to get off your face. So this is great to be used with like a Clarisonic or a PMD thing, whatever your face tool of choice is, or just your hands, which is how I've been using it lately. All right, so the second product is the Vitamin C Caffeine Serum. In general, my face has just felt bright and healthy and my complexion has been really even. And I think that's what this stuff is supposed to do. I don't know, I continue to use it because I, I think it's doing something. It's just not like gonna have a super dramatic effect. You use this only during the day. So I usually use two pumps. They say you can use two to four and I also put it on my neck. And then you follow it up with this moisturizer. And this is the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. It's the perfect medium weight moisturizer. So it's not too light, it's not too heavy, but it works really well for both day and night. Because I typically lean on a light moisturizer during the day and a heavy one at night. But if you want one that can do both for you, pick this one because it's a good, mid-weight moisturizer. So with this kit, it costs $46 and you get the full-size cleanser, which is eight fluid ounces. And then the other two products are minis. So I have used this every single day since I've gotten it, which was like the day after Christmas or a couple days after Christmas. And I've used it up to like right here. So I think that this does go pretty fast. Definitely use like the minimum amount of pumps possible because this stuff is expensive, but I'm totally repurchasing the full size of this because I do think it's doing good things for my skin. And I love having this very simplified routine. And then the last product here, this is the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Comes in a mini, what is this? A half of a fluid ounce. Great little trial sizes. I still have plenty of this one left because a little goes a long way with it with that medium weight. So if you were curious about Youth to the People and you've seen it advertised everywhere, don't wait, don't hesitate. It's so good. Lately, I have been struggling with such a dry, flaky scalp. For a long time, I stopped using any sort of dandruff shampoo or any sort of like scalp scrub or something and I was totally fine. But I switched back to using like suave shampoo because I had bought it on a whim at the drugstore because we needed some really quickly and we were already there. And I don't know if I can use suave shampoo. I think it is officially decided that I can't, my scalp never reacts well to it. So I needed some sort of danger shampoo again because things had gotten really dicey. Now I mentioned this before, this is the clinical dandruff defense dry scalp rescue and it works wonders it truly does a great job of actually getting rid of the dandruff and making your scalp feel normal again and getting rid of all the dry patches and it does so really really quickly but the smell of this over time kind of turned me off at first i was like oh it smells like laundry i like it but it is a very very strong chemically laundry scent when I needed some more because I'm down to like the last little dregs of only the conditioner. I ran out of the shampoo long ago. I knew I wanted to try something with a better smell. And so I ended up getting this head and shoulder set and it's the Supreme Nourish and Smooth. It has argan oil and jojoba oil. And this is free from phosphates, parabens, phthalates, dyes, whatever. This stuff smells so good. Kind of tropically. It's definitely on the sweeter side, but this is a much more palatable smell way less chemically. No, it's not their clinical strength, but this did do a great job. My hair is already back to normal. It was back to normal after about two washes with this. I feel like my hair has been really silky soft with this. And I feel like with the Suave shampoo, it kind of dries my hair out in addition to drying my scalp out, which makes a lot of sense. So if you're struggling with that too in these winter months and everything is just like, not doing great and you're trying to hide everything under a beanie or something, just buy the right shampoo and conditioner. This something else I cannot put down this month is this Skylar perfume. It's in the scent Pink Canyon and this was one big surprise to me. Definitely on the sweeter side of scents that I love, but it's really balanced out with like a musky undertone but it also has this lightness and this freshness. Let me see if I if it has the notes anywhere. I wanna say this is like grapefruit, pink salt and bergamot or something like that. It is just the perfect kind of warm scent for the winter time, but also bright and light, which is the scents that fit my personality. I feel like they're the scents I typically go for. I don't usually wear really serious perfume that smells all like vanilla, musky, musky. I like just like bright and fresh things. And I think that this is just a very unique scent. They do have little sample palettes that allow you to try out a lot of their scents really cheaply. And then you can figure out which one you like best and then purchase a full size product. Because I know committing to an entire bottle of perfume after 
just hearing about it on the internet is a really hard thing to do. So I really encourage you to get the samples first so that I don't lead you astray. All right, the next thing that I wanna mention, I'm so excited about, this was a gift from one of my very best friends this Christmas, and it is a Pura. And if you've never heard of this, this is just the box, this is not what it looks like. I just didn't wanna unplug mine from the wall because what it is is a smart fragrance system, basically. So it plugs into your wall, connects to your Wi-Fi, and then it connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and you control the scents coming out of it. So it diffuses scents throughout your home, and they come in little cartridges like this. And what Pura has done, which is so nice, is they've partnered with all of these really well-known fragrance brands, like specifically candle brands, and they've created these diffusable scents to put into that machine. So since this is a smart device, it actually diffuses all of your scents on a schedule. So you get to completely pick when that happens, what the intensity of the fragrance is at that time, and you can also turn a night light on if you want it diffusing at night, or you could just turn the night light to come on at a scheduled time without any scent diffusing. It's just a really cool device. So I have this one, the Capri Blue Volcano scent. I went kind of crazy. <laughs> this one from Nest. This is the Amalfi Lemon and Mint scent. The Times Lemon Leaf scent. See, y'all can see I have a very specific scent profile I like. And then I also got Beach Cottage from the Homesick line. So depending on like how often you run the scents and at what intensity you choose, they can last you a pretty long time. It's really hard for me to give an average because everybody is gonna run their cartridges at different times. But for instance, I've had our cartridges running for two hours a day each at level seven out of 10 intensity and their meter is still reading that the, the scent is high. I feel like you could probably get a strong like two full months out of each scent, maybe even longer if you run them at a lower intensity. So take that for what you will. I've only had this thing for like a little less than a month now, so I'll report back definitely in a later favorites video. I have been so impressed with it. And another great thing is that it's safe for kids and pets. So Nash, our dog, is obviously walking around really close to where it's plugged in, so I did wanna make sure it was safe for him because we also have an essential oil diffuser, but so many essential oils, you're not supposed to diffuse around pets. And so I was really pleased to see that this is something that you can diffuse around them because we basically had to stop using our essential oil diffuser. If you're interested in Apura, I actually do have a referral code where you can get $12 off your first order of $50 or more. So I'll be sure to link that. Don't feel pressured to use that link, but it does get you a little money off. Another thing we have been loving is this new cookbook from The Defined Dish. So y'all know, wow. I talked about her first cookbook way too much probably on my channel in 2019, 2020, whenever that book came out. We were cooking from it almost exclusively for an entire year and we loved it. Her recipes are so easy to make. She also has a lot of healthy takes on very traditional like kid meals and things like that that are nostalgic from your childhood. She cooks a lot in like the Whole30 realm and this book, she really brings it with the variety. So in her first book, it was pretty much like easy week night dinners. This is more of like all around recipes. So she has an entire appetizers chapter. She has a salads chapter, a soups chapter. Then she has like her basic like dinner chapter, but then she's also thrown in a desserts chapter and cocktails. The cocktails are superb. We have made, I don't know, three or four of them at this point. They're super boozy, but really, really good. Seriously, I just feel like her flavor profile is mine too. Like we have definitely the same taste buds. She likes really punchy flavors. I also truly appreciate that in this book, every single recipe has a picture. And that's so important because you wanna see what you're cooking, you wanna see how it's gonna turn out. The pictures are gorgeous. This has 105 different recipes. So if you are trying to get out of a recipe rut, you wanna start this year off right. She has a ton of healthy recipes, just very well-balanced, delicious meals. So don't sleep on this cookbook. This next one is gonna to appeal to a very specific audience, but this is something that Brian got me for Christmas. It was specifically to help with like all my video editing and uploading and storage and everything like that. So so with how my editing setup works, I edit on Final Cut Pro on an external hard drive, 
but I'm also getting footage off of my memory card from my camera. And obviously since I'm editing video, you need to have a power source because it uses a lot of battery and your, your computer's working really hard when you're editing video. Because I have a MacBook Pro, you will have very limited like USB-C ports on the side of your computer. With how my setup was, I couldn't charge and upload at the same time. It was a real pain point. Brian got me this and I'm not gonna pretend to know about the technology behind this, but what it is, is a little dock. And so you plug your computer into this and it charges it. It has a place to put your memory card and it has a place for me to plug in my external hard drive so that I can edit and get footage off of my computer and upload things without ever having to plug or unplug anything. And it has completely changed like the ease of editing because I know that my computer is not going to shut down. I know that it can read everything at once and it's so easy to set up and to use. Now this is not cheap, just FYI, but if you maybe have a YouTube channel or you're some other content creator, this could appeal to you. So I had to mention it. He did a ton of research. Brian is very, very well versed in like the tech space. So I definitely trust this and it is the TS3 Plus Thunderbolt Station 3. So that's what it is. We're gonna have to talk about this next one quick because it's really heavy and it is this. <laughs> This set of adjustable weights, and I wanted to show you like, you can see the different ridges and the different plates that are on them. Long story short, we don't have a ton of storage in our house and we also don't have enough space for like a true at home gym. Brian also did some measurements in our garage and while it is pretty spacious, like we don't have enough space for like a weight rack or whatever you would call it, like a real, a real gym system. And so our solution to have heavier weights at home actually came in the form of a gift from my parents for Christmas to Brian, not me, but I've been using them a lot. And it's these adjustable weights. So this one weight goes from five pounds to 25 pounds. And we have two of these dumbbells. I'm just showing you one because obviously I'm struggling and this is just 25 pounds. So to change the actual weight of that dumbbell, all you do is lift up on the little tab and move it over to the weight that you want and then lock it back in place. And when you pick up the weight, it basically drops off all of the other plates that you don't need. And then you're left with just that one weight. Something that may be disconcerting at first, or at least it was for me, is that the weights like kind of move around a little bit, but they're not gonna fall off. They are locked into place. You are good to go. So that's the only downside that I see. Rather than having like a true fitness goal that's quantifiable, I guess, like a certain number of Peloton rides or a certain number of pounds lost or something. My goal was to introduce variety into my life and into my workout regimen because I was getting in a rut of only doing rides on the Peloton bike. And that was because I had set this goal for myself to reach 200 rides by the end of the year. So I was trying to achieve that goal and I did it, but I know myself and one thing that I've learned is that variety spurs creativity. And I was really in a rut with all of my like extracurriculars. I felt like I was doing the same types of videos on YouTube and I was doing the exact same workout every time and it's time to get out of that rut. So one of my goals this year is just to introduce variety to my workouts and it's been so fun. Like I look forward to it. And so those weights have been really helpful as we've done a lot of the like strength classes because they do call for weights that we didn't have. We only had weights up to five pounds. So I felt like I wasn't getting the most out of those workouts without them. I think this is a wonderful small space solution for those of you that also have like fitness goals this year. You're getting like five weights in one. So I think it's definitely worth, you know, a higher price tag because they are very high quality. The last favorite of the month is actually my new cookware set. And this comes from a brand called Caraway. So long story short, when we got married, we came with a lot of things because we had each lived on our own. We already had some things and we did register for some pots and pans, but we didn't end up getting them. And then we were like, well, we have stuff to make it work. So we just never bought any. Well, here we are two years ish later and we needed some. We had some like Teflon nonstick cookware before and it was chipping. And I had this conversation with my uncle who knows a lot about that. And he was like, definitely get rid of it if it's chipping because that actually can be toxic. And so one of our big criteria with new cookware was that it needed to be non-toxic, safe, and clean. So that is something that this brand offers with their ceramic cookware. It's still very non-stick, but it doesn't have any of the harmful chemicals that a traditional non-stick skillet has. So that is like feature number one that we were very, very pleased with. Secondly, it's gorgeous. I ended up going with just the cream color because I want this to last me 
for years and years and years and I didn't want to get a loud color that I would get sick of so I played it safe and got the cream color this is what it looks like in person but they all come with this kind of gray interior now it comes with a four-piece set so the one that I've been showing the most here this is the three quart saucepan the four-piece set also comes with a ten and a half inch fry pan a four and a half quart saute pan and honestly that's what I had asked for originally, was just that saute pan because I wanted one that could cook on the stove top and go into my oven. Y'all know I have an always pan, loved it. Legitimately used it probably every single day in 2021. But the issue was with some recipes, I would have to transfer it to another item to like put it into the oven and that was super annoying. So I knew that that was a big feature that I wanted my new cookware to have is that it could go from stove top to oven seamlessly. And it, this also has that feature. And then the last item that comes is a six and a half quart Dutch oven. I think we have an eight quart Dutch oven from Le Creuset. So this is also a really nice mid-sized pot that we didn't already have. But another really cool thing that comes with the set is this little canvas rack that holds all of the tops, which is really nice. And it comes with these little sticky pieces where you could actually put them on the inside of the cabinet where you keep your cookware. But what we've decided to do, which we haven't done yet, is hang it inside of our pantry. But it also comes with these little organizers. So you can stack all of your cookware nice and neatly and you're not stacking it inside of itself where it could get scratched. So it kind of keeps your cookware separate but also super organized. This was one investment that we were happy to make because we needed it. Yes, I still have my always pan. Somebody asked that when I posted about these on Instagram the other day. I definitely still have it and still use it. We're not getting rid of that. It's a completely different size than the other pans that come in this kit, so it still has a very loved place in our home. If you've been in, on the hunt for new cookware, this stuff is beautiful and works really, really well. It is very nonstick. That is everything. Those are all of my favorite products from the month of January. And I know I'm even filming this earlier in the month than usual because I was so certain about what, what I wanted to talk about in this video. Again, every single thing that I mentioned today will be linked in the description box below for you. And if you're just on the hunt for more favorites videos, be sure to check out my yearly favorites, favorite products that I discovered in 2021. And if you liked this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!